What's going on everybody? Hope you're having an amazing day. It's been a little bit since I've live streamed. I figured this was a good topic. First off, God bless the people in Houston, Texas and Texas who experienced Hurricane Harvey. If I didn't already make plans, I would have flown down there and helped out in person. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you don't already know, you can follow me on Instagram at Dream Rare. You can follow me on Twitter at Legendary Energy. You can check out my Facebook page. It's anomaly spelled just like this. And of course, check out all of the videos I've done this last week. I did one on why we're blessed. I did one on Twitter, lying about the hurricane, etc., etc. But today, I want to talk about the bombshell evidence that came out about James Comey that is huge, but of course the mainstream media will try to downplay it, lie about it, like they do virtually everything. Evidence came out that James Comey had written the Hillary's innocent, Hillary's off, we're not going to prosecute her message before the investigation even took place, further proving that the entire system is rigged no matter what happened, no matter what they found, that the plan from the start was to not prosecute her switch to Donald Trump when it comes to this Russia investigation they've been investigating for a year everything that they found during this invest uh, Russia investigation hasn't even added up to John Podesta and Hillary Clinton's ties to Russia and selling a hundred million dollars worth of Russia Russian uh, United States uranium to Russia but they say he's guilty and here's my big problem because I didn't vote for Donald Trump, but I'm trying to look at every situation. Honestly, excuse me, I'm willing to talk about the prison system. I'm willing to talk about the militarization of police. I'm willing to talk about the wars. I'm willing to talk about racism, blah, 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 all this stuff. But when it comes to the opposition of Donald Trump, they're not willing to be rational whatsoever. It's like everything bad in the world started with Donald Trump and nothing happened before then. Once again, the elites, the real people, the intelligence communities, the people that have been committing mass atrocities for the past 30, 40, 50 plus years are getting away scot-free because the general public is too, for lack of a better term, dumb, mind-controlled, brainwashed, egotistical, stubborn, misled, to hold people accountable who have started seven plus wars, who have been responsible for entire countries, you know, being crushed economically, financially, socially. And once again, I look on Twitter and the people who support Donald Trump know who James Comey is and know who Hillary Clinton is already. The people who support Bernie Sanders and, you know, progressives, they know who Hil <clears throat> they know who Hillary Clinton is. They know who James Comey is. But the anti-Trump crowd is so irrational that even with this evidence further proving that the system is rigged, not the United States that Donald Trump created because he just got into office eight months ago, nine months ago. I'm talking about the United States for the past 50 years that everyone's been complaining about that now all of a sudden they, they have their blinders on like, oh, there can't possibly be anybody terrible in the United States government except for Donald Trump. And it's getting ridiculous. I mean, the things that Hillary Clinton has done, not just the things that we don't have substantial proof that she's done that tens of millions of people know, but the things that we have proof that she did, minus the however many thousand deleted emails, is enough to put her in jail 20 times. The South Korean president did one eighth of what Hillary Clinton has done as far as working with foreign countries, corporations and such. And she immediately got impeached and sent to court. When it comes to James Comey working with Hillary Clinton, I mean, how is it not obvious the entire government has been working together for how long? And I. I want to explain to people the reason that they don't like Trump. I know maybe Vice has a reason. Maybe it's because they're trendy and cool and, you know, they're trying to appeal to everybody and they think they're helpful, but they're really just extremely biased and one-sided and you're huffing the post. But the real reason that the elites and the mainstream media, your ABCs, NBCs, you know, CBSs, CNNs, 
they want to start war. I don't know how much clearer it could have been, you know, go back to 2001 until now. These news corporations, they don't want to help you. They don't want to stop racism. They don't want to stop illegal immigration. There's actually reports that say that Trump's first year, even with all the big talk, he's deported less people than Obama did. Every year, Obama deported more people than Trump did this year. We'll see if it plays out. We have three more months, but you don't understand. These, some people don't understand. They're not trying to help you. I don't care if you don't like Trump. You don't have to. I'm not saying he's the perfect option, but for the point of this video, what I'm telling you is these news sources that keep telling you all this stuff to make you mad, they just want to start war. Civil war, world war, war in Syria, war in Yemen, war in Somalia, war in Iraq, fund these people war, fund these people war, fund that war, fund this side of the war, fund this side of the war. Now, th our wars fighting our wars. That's what these people do. And meanwhile, while all the dum-dums are... Oh, no, this is just Donald Trump with the Comey. He's uh, trying to hide the Russia investigation. No, any rational, logical, common sense person could see that this shows that the entire system is basically rigged. The entire Clinton investigation was rigged. And it shows that this entire Russia investigation is built off basically fake pretenses. And anybody with a brain, I, once again, you could hate Donald Trump, you could think he's racist, sexist, xenophobic, still won't change the fact that everything with this Russia investigation is a total lie. I've said it 10 million times, no matter how many people lie about it and believe Keith Boykins or you know Rachel Maddow, it's not gonna change the fact that they're well-paid CNN propagandists and well-paid MSNBC propagandists and I don't know if they're delusional sociopaths or if they really believe themselves. I can't tell at this point. I don't care because I don't live in that fake reality. I live in the real world with real people, the sun, the earth, water. That's, that's the reality I live in. But the whole Russia investigation was built on fake pretenses and look no further than the 100 plus million dollar uranium deal that the Podesta uh, lobbying firm and Hillary Clinton, along with who knows who else was involved, Snopes will say, oh, it's not real because uh, we're, it's not Hillary that did it. I mean, it happened, but that's what Snopes will say. They're like, false, 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 false. Everything's false. Everything against Donald Trump's true, 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 but everything against Hillary's false. And then you read why it's false, and they're like, well, it's not really false. It's It, it happened, but I mean... Do we know? I mean, c cash flowed to the Clinton Foundation, like tens of millions of dollars, and it was like around the same time, and like the uranium was sold, but like, according to Snopes, the uranium was sold to Russia, but it was held in the U.S., so like, it's not really, it's like they, they find a way to manipulate everything. That's the biggest Russia connection, so the point of me explaining that was, Anybody with a brain, anybody with common sense, anybody that's not a, you know, brainwashed zombie could tell you that everything that they found over their year of prying into everything, lying billions of dollars, billions, I'm talking billions of dollars of TV airtime to manipulate your mind. Still, there's not one single Donald Trump connection that's equivalent to a hundred plus million dollars of United States uranium, which is used to build nuclear bombs, sold to Russia. I mean, what kind of moron, no matter how much you hate Donald Trump, can't see that? Apparently there's a lot of morons. Personally, I think there's less than the media portrays, so I don't think there's that many morons, but they're still getting some sort of shares and retweets. I think it's dying down because people are sick of just losing and being lied to, but what type of moron doesn't realize, okay, massive amounts of evidence, hundreds of millions of dollars of uranium sold to Russia or a whole year invest, and that's with no investigation. They didn't need an investigation. It's fact. Their investigation on that is a cover-up. It's like, oh, it never happened. Oh, it Snopes. Oh, it never happened. But it did. Versus, let's, oh, it went from Trump got the the election got hacked by Russia and then now we have evidence that the ele the election leak came from inside so that story died because it never happened so that whole Russia hacked the election potentially never happened because a real team of investigators found out that the leak came from inside so you notice how that story disappeared it's cuz it's not real 
Washington, Ver Vermont utility grid hacked by the Kremlin. Remember that story? You know why it's not here anymore? It's because it's a fake story that never happened. So on to the next fake story. That's what they do if you're a really dumb, easy to manipulate person. If you like to be pulled on a string, like I don't have a mind of my own. If you like your brain, brain to be programmed by people, that's what they do. On to the next story, on to the next story. They use your hate for Donald Trump to use you. I dislike, um, you know, I dislike soda or say something that I dislike. Just because I dislike it doesn't mean I'm going to let billionaires and people who start wars all over the country play me like a fiddle just because I don't like something. You cannot like Trump. I'm not asking you to like him, but stop being mind controlled. It's like, oh, you don't like Trump, so fake story, fake story, fake story, fake story. The biggest talking point of the year was 17 intelligence agencies. 17 intelligence agencies, they, they all say that. First of all, the head of the intelligence agency said multiple times they have no evidence that proves that Trump and Russia colluded on the election. No evidence. But the entire 17 intelligence agencies was a huge lie. You don't hear that anymore because it was a fake story to begin with. They've lied to the Trump haters 50 million plus times. And even people that don't like Trump, even if you have half a brain and you don't like to be manipulated by billionaires who literally start wars and fund terrorists and fund both sides of the war, that's who the Trump haters are. It's not Mother Teresa and Gandhi and, you know, Bono and, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I put Bono in that category, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not these like truth tellers like Jesus Christ himself is here to stop Trump. No, no, no. The people fighting Trump are billionaires who start wars and fund terrorists literally they own and control the media to manipulate and program your mind buy our buy our clothes buy our shoes give us your money give us more of your taxes yeah we'll help you they lie about everything this is who the trump haters are meanwhile there's evidence that the rothschilds and this is not a conspiracy. This is not me investigating. It's literally public domain. There's a, a YouTube video with 300,000 views that all he does is talk about money in the economy. That the Rothschilds are taking large sums of money out of the United States and investing into Brazilian oil companies. So George Soros, very famous economy manipulator he's running a bunch of fake activist group in the united states so while you think the big fight is the human beings versus donald trump he's big and bad no 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 no. donald trump sold our country out to russia that's what the russian investigation no 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 james comey lied to you hillary clinton lied to you george bush lied to you barack obama lied to you whatever his first name Mueller lied to you and meanwhile george soros lied to you and they're taking all of their money and investing outside of the United States because they're trying to destroy the United States. They know they're trying to destroy the United States. So why would they want their money invested in a country that they're physically trying to destroy and using low level brainwashed people to help them destroy this country? It's the dumbest thing in the world. I'm sorry, once again, I'm being as fair as possible. I don't care if you don't like Donald Trump, I get it. There's been some things he's done where I'm like, that's a pretty dumb thing to do. Wouldn't be my number one choice if I was like, who's the perfect president? But he'll do. For right now, he'll do. He saved us because he's not one of these people that you don't even know about. Oh, I hate Donald Trump. Do you know who George Soros is? No, I don't know who that is. Do you know who the Rothschilds are? Who? Miley Cyrus? No, 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 the Rothschilds. Uh, he's like Ariana Grande. Is that Ariana Grande's dad? No, 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 no. The Rothschilds and the Soros. You don't know who they are, then you don't know anything. Meanwhile, the dumbest thing to think is, oh my God, our, the United States might just get sold out. We might sell out to other countries. I mean, Donald Trump might have worked with another country. Imagine, a, imagine if the U.S. sold out to corporations and countries. Hmm, let me think how, wh when that would happen. Oh, only every single day for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I mean, lobbying, which Donald Trump actually put a temporary ban on domestic lobbying, he put a five-year ban on lobbying and a permanent ban on foreign lobbying, what Hillary Clinton was doing as Secretary of State, she was running around to all the other countries, taking their money, you know, getting money, selling uranium, whatever. Bill Clinton, 
sold the means to create nuclear bombs to North Korea. You want to blame Donald Trump for this North Korea situation? The reason they have nuclear weapons is because of the Clintons. It's not a joke. It's not a conspiracy. Oh, but she's not president. Yeah, well, she runs everything. She still controls everything. She's controlling and fueling and funding the opposition to him not to help you, not to help the LGBT community, to start a war, to start more wars, to steal, literally steal your money. The country's been sold out. That's what lobbying is. The entire country has been sold out to corporations for 30 years. Any half genuine person can tell you that. Even if they're a Bernie Sanders supporter, Lee Camp, you know, a revolutionary, a progressive, Tim Black, H.A. Goodman, anybody that's not the mainstream media, even if they hate Donald Trump, they'll tell you that. The U.S. has been sold out to corporations. We're not a country anymore. We're a corporate puppet. They're like, here, sell more pills. Here, give the kids more pills. Yeah, the kids, the kids, they're retarded. They have ADD. No, they're not. They're just energetic. They're just trying to make money off you. So they sell you pills. They sell you fake food and manipulated uh, seeds. Okay, that's fine. The country's also been sold out to foreign countries. Do a little bit of research about how, how much Saudi Arabia owns and how much money Hillary Clinton took from Saudi Arabia and how much money she took from Qatar and, you know, who's really manipulating. The, do a little research on Ukraine and what the past administration did in Ukraine. It looked eerily similar to Charlottesville. They know how to stage events, fuel people. They specialize. The anti-Trump crowd doesn't specialize in love. They don't specialize in peace and spirituality and unity. The anti-Trump crowd, the root of the anti-Trump crowd, specializes in funding terrorists, funding neo-Nazis, funding people that are crazy, funding the other side, and starting civil wars. This is what the anti-Trump crowd is good at. That's their bread and butter. It's not helping people. You have to be a complete moron to think that the people at the root of the anti-Trump crowd are trying to help you. I'm sorry. Even if you think Trump's not a bad option, at least be like Glenn Greenwald, who's like, I, I don't like Trump, but I see what they're doing. At least be honest about it. And if you're following people who work at CNN or NBC or any of the main news networks, even Huffington Post, Washington Post, New York Times, you're never going to get the truth because they might seem nice. They might be a woman or a black woman or a black man or like a trendy hipster guy or, you know, an Indian woman. And that's it's all love. I have love for every race, religion and gender. I judge people by their character. So I'm, I'm not saying this in a mean way. I'm just saying it. They're tricking you. That's how they get you. They're like, oh, it's a black guy. You know, it's it's Don Lemon. He's totally he looks like just like me. He's my friend. You know, he's 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 a cool guy. No, he's not. Joy Reid, no, she's not cool. Rachel Maddow, no, no, he's not cool. Whatever the other little Oompa Loompa people on CNN, I don't even know his name, Brian Seltzerwater, whatever his name is, they're propagandists that are paid millions of dollars to work for agencies and deep government to literally lie for you. That's who they are. That's what their job is. They're, they're not like, oh, I'm going to save America. They've been destroying America. These are the same people that have lied to you during the Obama administration. So as he's marching around being a really cool, funny, awesome guy, they're starting wars in Syria. They're starting wars in Yemen and Somalia and Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan, even pa Pakistan. These are who these people are. I mean, you, you just can't lie. I don't care how cool you think they are. I get it. You hate Trump. I don't like Hillary Clinton, but I'm not going to fight. Someone can't tell me, oh, you don't like Hillary Clinton here. Come here, buddy. And I don't even hate Hillary Clinton. I have love for her, too. I don't even know her personally. But what I'm saying, is, say I hate Hillary Clinton. And they're like, hey, buddy, come here. You hate Hillary Clinton? I'm like, yeah, yeah. They're like, eat this razor. You see this razor? Just eat it. And I'm like, why, why would I eat a razor? It's like, well, you hate Hillary Clinton, right? Yeah, yeah, I, I hate Hillary Clinton. Well, I hate Hillary Clinton. I'm going to tell you how much I hate Hillary Clinton. And then I'm going to tell you eat a razor. That's what CNN and MSNBC does. They bait you with the Trump hate. They're like, come here, Trump haters. Come here, LGBT community. Come here, women who, you know, hate men. Huh, eat a razor. Ow! That's who they are. You can't make this stuff up. Meanwhile, the billionaires who really run the country, they're betting against America because the whole battle 
is a chess game that most people don't understand. Everybody's playing checkers. Well, my feelings hurt based on his tweet. Well, guess what, little Jimmy? Guess what, little Jenny? Your feelings don't matter when billionaires are starting civil wars in multiple countries, regime changes, terrorism. Your feelings are not top priority. I'm sorry, Lil Larry. I know you have a Twitter account. I know you have sensitive feelings. I know you love Rachel Maddow, but that's not what's important. What's important is they're lying about virtually everything. And the irony about it is we're going to find out whether you like it or not, because it's going to literally happen. And then they'll lie about something else. That's the problem, though. Here's a perfect example. Donald Trump said, hey, I condemn neo-Nazis. I condemn white supremacists. But there's two sides. There's Antifa. There's some radical Black Lives Matter people that are killing people. Not all of them, but some of them. And the whole world lost their freaking mind. Fast forward two weeks, you have Mitt Romney, Paul Ryan, CNN, Washington Post, all these things saying, oh my God, how could he ever condemn two people at one time? How dare him not just focus on one small group and do his job? How dare him? You had Paul Ryan literally co-signing Antifa. Fast forward two weeks, they all had to apologize. Paul Ryan apologized. Washington Post told the truth. New York Times told the truth. Morning Joe told the truth. Morning Joe condemned Antifa and recognized that they're a problem. So once again, you demonize President Trump for saying that there's multiple problems. Fast forward three weeks, everybody that lied to you three weeks ago just told you that he was 100% right about that. But nobody cares because it's on to the next stupid thing. Every day it's a dumb, 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 dumb. It's like a little freaking Pac-Man game for dummies. Like, oh, 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 oh. How many lies are you going to eat? Just eat the blue dot and get the ghosts already. Eat the red pill and get the ghosts. That's what we're doing. That's what a bunch of people, you don't have to be concerned, is semi-smart and not a complete moron. So stop getting manipulated, please, because everything, the travel ban, the border security, there was a, a, an article today in Cancun that the Mexican cartels are writing, don't come here, tourists, you're going to put your life at risk even if you go to uh, the resorts. Notice how when all of these hipsters and liberals, no offense, uh, I'm a hipster too, like I always say, I'm a liberal, but the fake ones that haven't learned the truth yet, they're like, oh my God, I love Mexico. I love Me you love Mexico. Then go to real Mexico. Go to the cities. Go 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 to the heart of Mexico. Don't hide in your little resorts. That's where you go. Oh, I love Mexico. I go to Cancun. That's not that's not what President Trump's talking about. And soon you might not even have the resorts because that's how real the cartels are. I have friends from Mexico. I have family from Mexico. I have friends from Colombia. I have friends from Salvador. I have friends from all over. They know the truth of there. That's why they're here. Because they know what Mexico's like. That's why they came here. They know what Salvador's like. That's why they're here. It's only little loser privileged people, privileged liberals who only know how to call other people privileged, that are like, oh my God, everything's racist. Let's open the borders. Let's just let cartels flood America. Yeah. Let's let cartels and, and Al Qaeda just flood America. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hillary... How stupid can you morons be? I don't have an ounce of racism or prejudice and I'm trying to help the kids. I'm trying to help illegal immigrants that are here now. I have friends. I'm not saying that send everyone back or go after the illegals. I'm trying to take care of the good people in America a hundred, a thousand percent. But that doesn't mean I want to flood the country with really real cartels just because you're too dumb to realize that they exist. And same with overseas. Look at Europe, Barcelona. 17, 16 people dead because of a terrorism attack. And what does CNN say? Oh, he must have been copying the guy from Charlottesville. BS. Meanwhile, people on site at Charlottesville said that they were busing KKK and Black Lives Matter shirts in on the same bus. Ridiculous. So once again, the Comey situation, further proof that the entire system's rigged, but at this point, I don't even want to report. If you notice, I don't even share that many articles about Bombshell, the A1 brothers, this and that. I mean, I know. Anybody with a brain at this point knows you have to be a complete moron or a really nice person. I believe in the love and everybody. Very nice person, very good heart, very good soul, but very easy to manipulate. 
And who wants to be controlled? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to save this country. I'm trying to save the world. But more importantly, stop just getting lied to. I don't care if you like Donald Trump. This shows that the, this Comey situation shows that the entire Russia investigation, the entire Clinton investigation was 100% rigged. But once again, I'm probably not even going to share that many articles on this. Because why would I? The people that really go deep diving into it, they always end up missing and the liberals don't care about them. You don't care about how many people have went missing or how many journalists have been silenced. That's why I have to say when I make videos talking about Debbie Wasserman Schultz or Hillary Clinton, I'm like, I'm completely healthy. You know, I, I don't take pills. I don't have a firearms to, you know, shoot myself, what or not. I'm very happy. I'm very, you know, not even remotely suicidal. I have to say these things, not because I want to, because that's literally what seems to happen around people who do deep diving investigation or take these people to court. It's happened last year. It's happened this year. But the quote unquote liberals don't care because they're little zombies. They're little elite zombies. And you know who's pulling the strings? It's... I know the, the, the liberal community, the anti-Trump community, you're so concerned about racism and xenophobia. It's rich white people. That's who's pulling your strings. It's not like Jesus Christ. It's not a really cool, uh, you know, person of a different color. It's rich billionaire white people playing you like little fiddles. You want to talk about white supremacy? Stop following George Soros and stop getting manipulated by the mainstream media, which is literally run by rich white people who start wars and kill Africans and kill people in Haiti and kill Middle Easterns. Those are the real white supremacists. It's not the 5,000 really poor white people who are just shitty people. Those people on a big scale, they don't matter that much. They're a product of the system. They're really poor. They're really ignorant. We get it. We can condemn that. But you want to talk about real white supremacy? Look no further than the anti-Trump crowd. Look no further than the root of the people who are trying to upend Donald Trump from presidency. And they're trying to do it not to help you, not to stop racism. They're trying to do it to destroy the country, to control the entire world. Every single conspiracy I've been researching for the past 15 years is clear as day now. When I was younger, I saw these conspiracies and it was just like a, a shroud of cloud. And I was like, you know, it sounds pretty true. Now... I can see it all. I can see the players. It's obvious. It's all out there in front of your face. It's not a conspiracy anymore. It's a fact. It's a fact. All of this stuff about censorship, Google censoring people, Facebook censoring people. You talk about something on Facebook. Next thing you know, it's advertised to you in five minutes. It's because every device is listening to you 24-7. One out of five phone calls are being tapped. You hear a little tap on your phone. It's because they're listening. I mean, I wouldn't be paranoid about it. They're recording millions of conversations, but when the people at the root of this are starting wars, do you think it's going to help you? Do you think they're gonna try to start a civil war to help you? It's even been in a Drake lyric. I was listening to a Drake song. He was like, I keep hearing taps on my phone. Everybody is. Because you say something, hey, I like smart water. Next thing you know, Facebook. Hey, do you like smart water? Do you wanna buy smart water? How do you think they know that right away? It's not a conspiracy, it's a fact. And as far as James Comey, further proves everything, everything I just said, research it, look it up, consider it, stop being played, and have a good time. At the end of the day, it's the greatest time to be alive. You know, it's a rare moment. I was getting back in my zone. I don't even like to report on this stuff because it's nonstop, it's constant every single day. I'm trying to spread the love, I'm trying to spread the unity, I'm trying to have a good time and enjoy my life because amongst all this madness, so God bless the world. God bless, you know, everybody, every, everybody I've just talked about, um, you know, greatest time to be alive. Love your family. Have a good time. Don't let the news and the media overhype the negativity, even amongst everything I just said. I don't really care about it. It is what it is. You know, I think it'll figure its way out. The people are waking up. The good energy is there. These polls that they take, they're not real polls. Oh, 50 million people feel this way. No, they don't. It's a lie. A lot of people are woke. More people than even voted for the president now fully understand. I've had people that were mad at me two months ago be like, you know what? I see what you're saying now. The news media, not just during Donald Trump, they've always been pushing negativity and hate and fear. They're ramping it up now 
Not because Donald Trump is worse than all these people. If you want to talk about science and facts, it's a fact that Donald Trump is way less corrupt than any other. I mean, you're talking about George Bush, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, anybody that's halfway honest will tell you that they are way more corrupt and have done way more criminal things than Donald Trump has. The reason that the media is ramped up is not because Donald Trump's a lot worse, it's because he's a lot better. That's just the reality. Once again, I didn't vote for him. I don't care if you don't.